All right, guys, so generally about three days a week, I like to do some morning stretches, and I also put in some strengthening drills in there, light activation, like isometric, stuff like that. I think it's hugely important to start getting some movement, especially in your lower back. First thing in the morning, we wake up stiff AF, generally, and um, as soon as you can get moving, the sooner you get moving, the better. And then the activation drills or the strengthening stuff allows your body to know where it needs to be while you're walking around. So I will record this. I'll end up, um, hi Darcy. I'll probably, um, video, I'll, I'll record it. I'll splice it together and I'll put it as a routine. But if you want to join along, I'm just going to do this for like five minutes. Okay. So I'm going to start with my leg out straight. I'm going to lengthen that leg, chest out, butt out. I'm going to flatten out my foot. And then from there, I'm just going to rock back and forth. Okay. Again, this is meant to be healing movement please do not push into any ranges of motion that you should not and do not want to go into let's just start being really really gentle and kind to our body okay hi Anika. from there we're gonna bend that knee and then that same leg we're gonna do some hip circles okay now the goal to these hip circles is to get that hip firing not to just stress it stretch it and rock it around all over the place so i want you to push into the ground with your hands think about staying tight here imagine you have a fancy martini on your lower back and then we're going to pull that knee towards your elbow first and then out and around keeping the knee high as you come behind you okay so from here out and around keep it high tuck it in and bring it back in and we're only going to do that for like four or five reps okay again this is going to be like five minutes long. We're not going to spend too much time here. It's taking me a little bit longer because I'm talking, but I do this like three or four days a week. It's an amazing way to start your day. Okay, so now we're going to switch to the other side. We're going to bring that leg out straight. I was cold 10 minutes ago. Now I'm not. All right, so we're going to bring the other leg out straight, chest out, butt out, and we're just going to rock back a little bit. Again, do not strain yourself. Just chill out. Rock a few times, make it feel good. Okay, the goal here is to open up this inner thigh so that when we go to do these hip circles, we have a little bit more range, okay? So we're gonna pull in, out, and around, making sure that we're not just flying around, okay? There's purpose to this movement, and we should be using our muscles. Imagine you're pulling your knee through mud or imagine you're I'm pushing against your knee as you're going through this good morning Ellery if you want to go ahead and join in I'm doing about five to seven minutes of just some healing morning movement some stretches and some activation okay so now we're going to go into a plank position from here I want you to kick one leg out to, uh, all the way up to your foot, okay? If it's a little too early and you don't want to do that yet, we can just go from a uh, kneeling position, bring that knee up. This is a lot easier. And then you just slide that back leg back, okay? But the goal being that you have a vertical front shin. From here, we're going to push forward and back, okay? So now we're just challenging those hips to get into very mild, gentle range of motion. Okay, and then we're going to straighten out the back knee. What I want you to do is squeeze that quad. Come up, squeeze, we're activating again, and then come back down. Come up and squeeze, and back down. We'll do that about five times. Good, so now on this same side, I'm gonna to rotate towards that front leg. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Man, like I said, I was cold this morning and now I'm sweating. So we got that front knee, uh, that leg all the way up to vertical, and then we're just gonna push forward and back. Good, okay, now we're gonna straighten out that back knee, squeeze it straight, bring it back down, squeeze, Good, and then we're gonna rotate towards that leg. Good, all right, so now we're gonna go hands and knees and we're gonna start working the entire spine, okay? So we're gonna do a cat camel rock back, right? So from here, we're gonna do cat camel, 
go all the way up. We're trying to arch the back as much as possible from this from the neck all the way down to your tailbone. So I want you to push into the ground and press your chest out. I'm actually actively pulling my hands back in order to create some tension there. Then we reverse it. Now I'm gonna push into the ground, tuck under, ground out my spine from the neck all the way to my tailbone. And then keeping that rounding out, I'm gonna rock back towards my heels. Okay, and then we go back, arch, round, rock. I'm gonna do two more of those. My son just woke up. Hi, Ari. Hi. And there's Samson. All right, so now we're gonna do an activation. We're gonna do a bear crawl hold, okay? So from hands and knees, this same position, we're just gonna lift up our knees a little bit and we're gonna hold for about 15, 20 seconds. Again, imagine that I am pushing on you and you're not allowed to move, okay? So hands and knees, slight lift of the knees, and we'll just hold. Again, imagine somebody is pushing down on your hips and you have to resist them, okay? You're not allowed to move. All right, so now we're gonna kneel down, kick one leg out in front, arms out straight, and we're gonna rotate over that front leg. Now what I wanna see you do is keep your hands right in line with your nose, okay? So when you rotate, we're not just throwing those arms over, we're going through the range that the torso is capable of moving through, okay? So there's a little bit of tension here. Again, imagine I'm pushing against your hands. Good, so now we're going to place one hand here and then use this leg to actually push you into a deeper range. So I'm pushing against my knee, my knee is pushing against my hand, and I'm trying to really get through this range of rotation. Okay, and we're just gonna stretch and release about four or five times. Then we'll switch, okay? So again, hands in front, hands together, and we're rotating over that front knee, just staying tight, imagining I'm pushing against you, and going through the range that the torso can take you through. Good, so now we're gonna resist against that knee, the knee is gonna resist against the arm, and we're gonna push into a bigger range. Don't allow this knee to buckle, right? It's opposing forces here. All right, okay, so now we're gonna lay down on the floor again. Samson's probably gonna tackle me, but I wanna do some butt things, right? So we're gonna start by straightening out the legs, making sure that we have a nice long um, capability on the back of the legs from the hamstrings, okay? So I want you to just straighten out that leg and then bring it back down. Let's stretch those hamstrings out, okay? You can pump your ankle at the top in order to get a little bit more stretch. Do about four or five each side. Okay, and then we'll do some glute bridges, right? Really, really, really important to start accessing extension of the hips, especially first thing in the morning. So as we do these, we're just gonna go up and down a little bit, starting to get into that range. If you're having and dealing with some back pain, this might be a little uncomfortable. So really just tread lightly. Once you get to the point where you're like, oh, okay, I'm really getting into extension, then we can start holding, okay? Now when you're holding, you're thinking about using your abs to push down, your butt to push up, and your heels pushing in to your butt, okay? Let's try to put all those forces together. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Okay, so now we're going to do one more set because this time I want you to stretch your both legs up and down. As we're doing this, I want you to think about getting tight in your abs 
and pushing your lower back down into the floor, but then creating a lot of pressure here. So just poke yourself in the tummy a little bit. And we'll do that about four or five times. And then we'll do another bridge hold. So all the way up, we're squeezing here, we're squeezing here, and we're pulling here. Lots of stuff going on. going to sit up and I want you to just roll your neck around if it's comfortable for you to sit in crisscross applesauce whatever they call it these days or if you want to just kneel down go ahead and do that but I want to make sure that we get some movement at the neck just a few circles one direction might feel a little bit more stressful than the other and then we'll go to the other way And then we're just going to go turn ahead left and right. Trying to sit up tall. Make sure you make your spine nice and tall. And remember, these movements and these routines are just meant to make you feel good. So if anything is hurting or barking at you, A, shorten the range of motion. B, start to address it, okay? The human body sends you signals. Okay, if you're constantly having signals in one spot, you should probably pay attention to that. If you're actively using your body and you're just doing things, then your body is going to react. It's going to send you signals. It's not that you're never going to be in pain. What we want to do is mitigate the intensity of that pain, and we want to make sure that we are addressing and treating our body in a way that it will respond favorably, right? So if we're constantly putting stressors on our body and not giving it the TLC it deserves, it's going to shut down on you. So let's make sure that we just really, really take care of our bodies. So that was a very short routine. Hi, Hannah. Thank you for joining. Um, it was a very short routine. You can go back and do it again. I'm going to splice it together and make it a video. But I just wanted to show you that the, you're capable of waking up in the morning and just getting something quick done so that you start your day on the right foot and so you start just decompressing your body after a long night of sleep okay so three to five minutes in the morning and then go on with your day or if you've been sitting for a very long time get up do something it doesn't take a lot to be good to your body all right you guys have a wonderful day i will get this up eventually sometime today bye